All right, it is Sunday, March 3rd, 2024. I'm here at Fairplex in Pomona for the Pomona Auto Swap Meet. It's a Pomorning. I came up with that yesterday. Is that our new catchphrase? Probably not. Uh, a lot of great cars here. It is a little drizzly this morning. It did rain all day yesterday. Uh, it's currently 46 degrees, which is cold for California. Uh, it's actually, there's blizzards up in Northern California though, so it's colder up there. So someone's gonna scream at me about that if I mention that. I always say cold for California. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of great cars for sale here. So let's go get started right now. We got this Plymouth Barracuda with a slant six, starting off with the uh, Mopar. Has a for sale sign with zero information on it. So it may be listed online for sale somewhere, who knows. Got this uh, 1962 Chevy Impala. This guy actually did fill out his for sale sign. It could be yours for 38000 There's all your info. So I think people are actually going to start rolling in here in a few now that uh, people are going to start realizing it's not really raining. Here's morning. the info on the uh, Barracuda. It was on the for sale sign on the back, 18000 A 28 uh, Ford Model A Roadster with a flat head. On that, it's twenty thousand. Got a '64 Impala Lowrider for forty thousand. There's your info. This is a Super Sport. We got '66 Impala for sale as well. This one's for thirty-four thousand. The 327. And I'm thinking the 7 means it's a 714 number. I guess there wasn't enough ink in the pen to put 14 on the area code. <laughs> you got like a 90s town car. I'm guessing like uh, about 95 to 97. No price on it. There's the uh, phone number on it. it does have the uh, moonroof, which not a lot of those have that. And no price on the back either. And the cars are definitely rolling through this morning. Got an 84 uh, Nissan Z car. Uh, looks like it's 3,000, I can't tell. It's the info on that one, it says it runs and drives. It's a bit of work. This one's a uh, a little bit on the rough side. I'll just leave it at that. Got a 39 Chevy. Looks like the owner forgot to put a uh, sign on it. I said there's no sign on it or if it's illegible. A lot of times they're for sale somewhere else online. Yeah, it's a 71 Ford Thunderbird. No price on it, but uh, there's the uh, number. Very clean example. Here you'll see where I'll check out the uh, moonroof. I'm not sure if those came with those originally. So a clean example of a car you don't see very often. All right, we got this Opal GT. I think this one's been out here a couple times. For 4,000. It's a pretty much a full restoration or they were sold uh, by the Buick dealerships it's a German General Motors last tagged in 90 now we got a, a 40 deluxe coupe for 55,000 it's got a 350 blown kind of see what's going on in there He's got a, a couple engines for sale, as well as a hot rod. Yeah, I mean, yeah look at this one here, 32 Ford Roadster, 18,500. I'll see if I can get a better shot of the sign on the other side. Take a look inside there. Yeah, come around this side. Oops. 
Right, let me see. I think, I think you can see the phone number here. Hopefully. Have a couple Mustangs for sale. I've said in the past, like if you come out, bring your car out here, get, get a marker to make do your for sale signs. Pen does not work very well. It's very hard to read. This one's 12,965 Mustang. I always say use a pen or you know print out something on your printer before you come out here. Makes it a lot more legible. Yeah, a second Mustang. It might be the same owner as the one we just saw. You know, a GT350. Yeah, right. This is a uh, 68. 25,700. So we kind of sort of Shelbyized it, I guess. Also, be sure if you see any of these cars for sale, check the day of the video before you start dialing digits uh, so you don't get... Uh, you know, because the car might be sold a month prior. Usually if there's something that's just like an amazing deal, I'll mention it, and those are usually gone in the first couple of days. We got a Ford Dent side F100, long bed, 9,573 model. So it is a pre-smog in California. Fortunately, the interiors aren't going to be easy to see on anything with the windows up this morning, since all these were left out here all night, which is sort of unfortunate. So what we got next week? Next week we got uh, Lowrider Super Show at Long Beach. I might do two videos there. We will see. Might be one video just Saturday. Got a yeah, six down Mustang convertible. And also coming up, we got uh, Long Beach Swap Meet next week. Next Sunday, that's the first day of daylight savings. So I have no idea what time I should get to Long Beach next Sunday because it's it's the daylight savings edition. I'll see if I can get you the interior on this Mustang since the windows are down. So the asking price is twenty one thousand nine hundred. Doesn't look like uh, too fast of a setup there. <laughs> Don't want a beetle with a bus. Got a whole display of vintage commercial trucks, big rigs. It's Peter Bolt. I know from experience these are extremely hard to shoot due to their size, so I'll try to. Get you what a can zero in on some of the more interesting ones. They are not, I don't believe these are for, these are for sale. This is Ford Cab over. This guy's got a couple old street lamps in there. Then I have to walk through some of these. So in a couple weeks, I'm still planning on doing Scottsdale Good Guys, and then I think Pleasanton Good Guys is the week after that. Uh, Easter weekend, there's nothing that I can find. I might try to show some other kind of video for you guys that weekend. And then uh, rolling into April, I know we've got Del Mar Good Guys. Pomona is on the uh, 14th next month. We'll be back out here for that. And lots of other great stuff coming up. Here's a uh, Model A steak bed for sale. No price on it. So be sure to check. We'll have the attendant list in the comments section pinned at the top shortly after the video posts. Let you know what I'm planning on hitting. People are waking up and heading out here. Try to get this uh, on a shot for you guys.
So it is running a little bit harder now, so I'll try to keep the water off the lens as much as possible. Yeah, look at this 54 Ford F100. Hopefully it's more legible. Wing title, pink slip, 12,500 could be yours. Dodge van coming through. And if you haven't watched it yet, if you like the cool boogie vans, I shot the uh, National Boogie Van Day meet. That video is on the channel from last week. Lots of great vans. I even had my van out there. About a, a Rambler Ambassador 65 sedan 880 series. This one runs it. Could be yours for 2000. Looks pretty uh, clean too. This one might move pretty quickly depending on. So it wants an inexpensive cruiser. It's missing a tail light, a couple tail lights. I'll bring you this side of the car since it's, it's priced so low, it probably will sell. These folks are just looking for cool vintage cruisers. I have a caddy that's for sale. Here's this one, like about a, I think it's about a 70, yeah, 78, that was my guess. Coupe, this one is, uh, looks like 10,000, I think is what it says. So again, we got ballpoint pen, so I can't even read it. it does have the uh, vinyl top rust, unfortunately. And it needs the extensions. Got a uh, 69 Pontiac Catalina station wagon for 12,000. Looks to be original paint. Yeah, look here, it does have the way back seat. Get you a shot of the interior. 55,000 original miles. There's 55,000 original miles. 428. With a 428. Original owner. All right, does have a rip, uh, a couple rips on the uh, driver's seat, but nothing super crazy. And I'll bring the other side of the car. So you got an idea what's going on, on this side. Looks like it's missing uh, part of the beak there. All right, we got a C10 for sale. 65, there's the info. Fortunately, it's more legible than the uh, last few for some of the other for sale signs we've had this morning. This one has the uh, vintage aluminum topper with the uh, windows that pop out. A lot of guys take those off. I think they kind of give it like a cool look myself here I'll bring in and show you the uh, driver's seat and cabin any idea what's going on there there we got a uh, C10 rain's coming down a little bit harder now so I actually tried changing the settings on my camera when the rain drops already so hopefully I can still get some of this for you guys 15,000 on this one must sell today it's a short bed i know on these you have to check to make sure they're original short beds because they they do make the kits to build a short bed out of a long bed but uh 15 it might it might go hopefully i can get this video up today i have literally a full day after i get done here so I will try. I got a 1949 Plymouth convertible, 2,500. It's a serious project. Of course, there's plenty of four-door parts cars for these out there for not a whole lot of dough. Hopefully, uh, all the convertible-specific stuff is here. That would probably be the most important thing on this one. But, uh, you don't often see these in convertible. It's uh, Mercury for sale. As you can hear, it is running. 302. So it could be yours for 9,000. The Montego must sell today. As I said, I'm hoping I can get this video up today. I do have to take my daughter somewhere later on. I pretty sure have one shot of it. If it flags for copyright, it'll be up probably tonight or tomorrow. A yeah, Thunderbird Lowrider. It's a 79 model for 10,000. Hopefully it's readable. Got the Astro Supremes on it.
Got the wild paint on this uh, GMC. It's a 94 for 10,000. So it's got 48,000 miles on it. I'm guessing it was modified probably many years ago and probably someone's pride and joy that they didn't take out very often. Got the uh, spoiler. And it's got the uh, very 90s looking rims. But I know that paint job was not cheap to do. You got a, a 77 C10 with turbines. Runs but needs a tune up, no uh, price on it. This one is a short bed. I always mentioned you do have to smog the uh, 77 still. And no word on any of those smog bills, which is... <laughs> Otherwise, I would have made a video on it. Also, if anybody watched my video on the uh, classic car website scams, there's another guy that with a big channel that just does exposes scams that just did a video on it. I'll have to uh, find it. I can't remember the guy's channel name. You could probably be found by searching up classic car website scam, I'm sure. As he's got a big channel. But he, he kind of does, goes in more depth on that. So. so, like I said, if you didn't watch the other video, basically it was these overseas scammers making uh, classic car websites that look real, look like legitimate dealerships. And now they're even using names of legitimate dealerships. So it makes it harder to figure out and uh, they have you wire them the money and you don't get the car. So beware out there. I always say I like to do all my deals in person with the seller myself. It's got a 4.6 in it. It's 31. Here's for 25,000. You have the old water transfers there. So on any of these cars you see in any of my videos, go out and check them out or have someone go check them out. Anything you find online. There's companies that will actually go out and inspect cars for you if you can't uh, get out to a location or if you know someone in a location uh, where the car ha is supposed to be, go have them uh, check it out in person. This is a 1955 Ford Fairlane Victoria. So obviously on any of these videos, I do not have time to like go through these cars with great detail. But uh, obviously I am here and the car is here. So you know that it is for sale and it's not on some weird website. If I can find the, the, the channel again in the video I saw yesterday, I'll post it to my community page. Here we got this uh, Chevy. The info on that one. 51. I don't know. He's got everything covered up with his own cards. It is a bit of a project. and It's a four-door sedan variety. Has a couple of the... Uh, bullet holes guessing it was sitting out in the desert somewhere for several minutes a 37 Chevy for sale no price on it but uh, there's your number yeah they put it on the it's legible so it's got a New York inspection sticker on it so I always like to say if there's any indication of where these cars may have come from. No price on it. But he's got the uh, year manufacturer plates on it. Does have a little bit of weight reduction down there. And of course you would want to check under the running boards as they've got the uh, rubber matting on it. Nancy 
Nash Rambler station wagon. This one has a, a Colorado sticker on it. This is for sale for six thousand. Guessing uh, someone would want this for maybe like a rod project. This one got a Rocky Mountain AAA sticker there. A little bit of rust there. Not a car you see very often, something extremely different. Got a, a Corvair Greenbrier van. It's like it's been sitting in Utah for many years. 702 number, so I'm guessing is out of Las Vegas. Uh, Could be yours for 3,500. Of course, these are rear engine and air cooled. Something a little bit different. Last tagged and uh, well, it says 73, but it's got some stickers, so I guess it was last registered many years ago. It does need uh, quite a bit of rust repair. I'll read past the 63, it does not have a sign on it. Got a 53 that is. Here's for 13,500. Looks like he drove it here. Info on that one. I'll be short clipping quite a bit today. I'm trying to avoid the uh, copyright, as I believe I only have one shot of getting this up today. Uh, 52 Chevy for 5,000. No motor or transmission. There's the info. There's a, a four door sedan variety. So the uh, rain adds the ambiance of the video. <laughs> Still trying to keep the lens clean for you guys. Got a 53 Chevy 210. 9,000. This is trade for cash. That's 49 Chevy Fleet Line, 18,500. There's the info. Looks like the owner's camping outside, so I can't get you the interior shots. Get an idea of what's going on. Chevy pickup. Oh, he doesn't have a sign on it. So it's a nice patina to it. A 50 Chevy four door for sale for 10,500. This one might be more legible because he needs to sell it. Mercury Coupe. Let's bring it to you real quick. I will say, usually the sellers that show up on rainy days are more serious about selling as are the buyers. A 1935 Plymouth. The F1 in the background is not for sale. This one is 25,000. Looks to be in barn find condition. All the info on that still has the flathead six, 714 Orange County number. This looks straight out of a barn. It says make offer. Two 
1941 Chevy pickup that's for sale for 15,000. So we convert the front disc. So I got a full week this week. I had to pick up a jukebox I bought yesterday, this afternoon by three. Get it in my house. Hopefully it won't be raining by then. And uh, tomorrow I gotta drag a diesel Mercedes out to Chuck in Palm Springs that I found for him. He's gonna try to make it into a daily driver. That's why it's been sitting for many years. So the next two days are definitely full for me. It's 48 Chevy, this one does not have a for sale sign on it. I think this one was out here last time. I remember the uh, trailer lights that were on it, which is an unusual choice, but okay. It's for 19,500. Very 80s style street rod. The uh, winds are in it. I got this uh, 56, not for sale here. We'll get into this uh, Plymouth here that is. Oh, there's nothing written on the sign, but I'll bring it to you in case it's for sale elsewhere on the internet. So I'm trying to keep this lens water free for you guys, so bear with me. Yeah, this uh, GMC, this one has a for sale sign, no info as well. I know we've seen this one somewhere here, probably here before. They also do hand out for sale signs as you uh, drive in for the car corral. Here's a Model A hot rod that uh, does have a for sale sign and it is filled out and legible. So we are progressing this morning. It's the info on that one, 661 area code. So. I'll tell you what, this is a really amazing turnout considering the rain. Yeah, we made it to the uh, Corvette section. Ah, for sale, well, look at the 67 uh, big block Stingray. We got a couple 67s here. I think it's actually supposed to stop raining here. Somebody said by 9.30 it's supposed to stop raining. So we'll see. One of the uh, Disco era Corvettes that's for sale. This one's a 79 for 10,000. I'll see if I can get a better shot of the phone number here. Uh, nope. <laughs> Uh, I think the guy is actually in the car, but I'll try to see. Yeah, there you go. That's probably more legible. Do a quick walk through. Got a C4 that's for sale. Bit of a later one. This one's a 92 model with a six speed. 20,000 miles, 21,000. Thank you, Channel. Thanks. It's got the uh, fogged up window, so I can't bring you the interior shots. You're walking through. Got another, uh, this one's a 73. There's the uh, info on that one. There's a little bit of an info sheet on the other side. We'll bring it up to you. 
but it does have an automatic transmission. So it's a three, it wants 18,500, and it's a 350 with a automatic. You got an 80 uh, Corvette. Uh, just 80, and there's the uh, phone number. Ballpoint pen style. Said, uh, This one has a sign on it, no info. Looks like it came in from Arizona. Speaking of Arizona, we got Scottsdale in a couple weeks. Still planning on doing it. A 68 Pontiac Le Mans convertible. Very similar to a Tempest I owned many, 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 many years ago. My father talked me into selling, and it wound up in a random barn find video way out in Illinois. I did a video on it once. I just happened to have this video running in the background on YouTube. And uh, I look up, I go, hey, that's my old car. It looked exactly how it did when I sold it. They never did anything with it. I know they were gonna make a GTO out of it though. I had a, a square body Suburban for 8,000, it's an 88 model. Doesn't say what drivetrain. It is a uh, 10 series. Looks to be very clean. I'm going to guess small block. But a very clean example. A uh, yeah, square body pickup now, short bed. Uh, no info, just a phone number. It's actually kind of nice walking in the rain today. Some more of these cars. This is a section where usually there's not as many cars for sale. We got a square body C10 for sale, the short bed variety, 11,000. It's that. So he's got it all set up for bicycles or possibly dirt bikes. As I step into a puddle. Just for you guys. Uh, for sale, the uh, 58 uh, Delray two door sedan. Not one you see very often. I mean, it's really clean, early Bronco. not as long as my usual Pomona video it's because the turnout is lower I might try to make it still fairly long I'm sure now when the video is up and you're watching as I'm saying this you'll see exactly how long the video is it's kind of a cool 53 Ford station wagon Uh, hot rod, 1934 Model A, 22,500. No, nope, no nope phone number on it. With a flathead. There's a, there's more info right there in the uh, rumble seat. That's where all the kid, cool kids are putting their uh, for sale signs these days. Got a 
my Ford convertible for sale. Twenty-two thousand five hundred on this one. So it looks like an older restoration. It's got a Continental kit and the spotlights. Can't really show you much on the interior with the rain, unfortunately. Oh yeah, let's see the interior. Yeah, the owner's gonna open up the doors. It's got a flathead. Yeah, it's an original car. Original car. Yeah, it runs great. The overdrive, everything works. Even the overdrive works. There you go. Got a 56 sedan delivery here. Oh, it does have a sign on this side. 45,000 on that one. Got the uh, foos wheels on it. Yeah, it's 55. It's not for sale, but we'll bring it to you anyway. See if we can get around the pop-up tent. A lot of pop-up tent dodging today. Yeah, it's just understandable. A pair of 56s. I actually don't mind filming when the sirens are going off because at least it's masking the music. <laughs> I know we had a guy complain about it like now everybody's running their sirens anyway and I gotta get this video shot. I got this 40 Ford Deluxe for sale. This would be probably like an 80s or 90s style street rod with all the billets, goodies. Yes, I still have my 40. Hopefully things go well with my building. It gets fixed and rented and then I can have some extra money to get mine sorted out. No, I'm not selling it. I've had people ask me. In fact, now my one of my best friends, he, he has a 40 that was owned by his grandfather. He just posted on uh, online that he got his out. He's getting his going. So now I definitely have to get mine going. Six uh, two door wagon right here. Very clean uh, 56 GMC pickup. Not gonna squeeze in there. You got the stuff set up. Look at the Chevy on the end is for sale, so we'll bring you that one. Here we can get you in here. Oh, it has a for sale sign no info. Let's see what's written on the side. Just a phone number. There's an the info sheet right there. Here we go, we got another Chevy that's for sale. This one could be yours for 18,000. So yeah, number on that one. Got 86 uh, square body pickup. No price on it, it is a short bed. Custom Merc. Yeah, 
a 37 Chevy that's for sale for 35,000. Datsun pickup, a 1970. I think it says like 7,000. I can't quite read it. Oh, for sale, I'll show this Fiat Cinquecento. It's a European model. It's all by the smaller headlights and the uh, badging. This uh, Reliant three-wheeler. It's not the Robin. It's the Real Rialto. I've seen a few of the uh, Robins on these shores, but never seen one of these here. Here we got this fire room to bring you here. This is a 1970 model for 35,000. I bring you this side of the car because you park right up on that uh, square body next to him. Chevy square body, 81. I'm not gonna walk back there because it's parked right up on that Firebird. Arrow with Firebird wheels. Had a uh, Eleanor replica from the uh, remake of Gone in 60 Seconds, the Nicolas Cage one. I guess the uh, the the widow of H.P. Halicki, I guess, can no longer sue for the replicas anymore, I think is what, what happened. Actually, if you look up on uh, YouTube, there's like whole videos on that subject. Got a 76 square body short bed, 17,000. A 65 El Camino. With a uh, for sale sign, so it's ready for go drag racing. I don't know if you can make that out. It's got slicks on it. Let's hope he didn't try to drive that in the rain out here. GMC Sierra square body. No price on it, just a phone number. It's a Monte Carlo that's for sale. Uh, no info on it, so I'll still bring it to you in case it's advertised elsewhere. It does have the T top option. As I step into another puddle, I got a, a Fleetwood Brome 92, 11,000. This could be very clean. Got a, a 69 Impala convertible project, 6,500. It's on a non op. Hopefully, you make out the number. Can't quite see in there. And yes, I still, it says it's in the Super Sport, but uh, Super Sport was the 427 two door hard top that year. Everything extra pieces, transmissions all there, the transmission's gone. Yes, I still have my two door hard top 427 non Super Sport. Put a new gas tank in it about a month ago, and I have not been able to take it out because of the rains since. Hopefully, it'll stop raining soon. We're supposed to get some uh, midweek uh, 68 C10. 
So it could be yours for 90,000. That's what it says. Right there. <laughs> I got this 77 Chevy station wagon for 6500 Got a Lincoln Continental Mark V Diamond Jubilee Edition. There's going to be here for 8300 Pause it, read it. This is the 400 of course, the California ones all came with the 400. You couldn't get the 460. It does have a little bit of rust there on the roof, as a lot of them did. Got a uh, 65 El Camino with a blower. Here's for 50,000. Turn on that one. These aren't for sale though. Got a uh, 56 Chevy two door hardtop for 7,000. Some assembly required. Looks like they did a patch panel on the uh, lower part there. A little bit of Bondo. <laughs> A little cut and splice. Got a 38 Chevy Master Sedan, 8,000. So on this one, it's a bit of a project. See if I can show you the inside. We got a, uh, what is it, 95 Impala SS, 77,000 miles on this one, 16,500. This is one of the ones with the uh, console. I think the early ones didn't have the console. You can open it. You can open it. Want to get it? Okay, we'll show the inside. Let's, let's get you a good shot here. There you go. Just cutless. That one's not for sale, so we'll just roll into this GMC pickup. 7,500. It's got that uh, funky V6 they came with. Better shot of this side. So this guy. Here we go. Got a '62 Impala for sale. Forty-one thousand five hundred. Is a Super Sport ballpoint pen. Strikes again. On a rainy day, hopefully he's got a, another sign on a window without rain on it. Mm -hmm. Good walk around on it. S10 Blazer, 89. I can't even pretend to read that. Hopefully you can make it out in the video on the TV, maybe it'll look bigger. You can see it, I don't know. You got a 75 Shorty half ton van. There's the info on that one. Got this Thunderbird 1960 model for 
500. Nice coming on out for sale though. Okay, we're not quite in the Volkswagen section, but here's a uh, 69 Westfalia pop top. 28,500. Sometimes there's a few guys that bring their Volkswagens over into the uh, other section. We got an 85 square body diesel, three quarter ton for 14,500. So these are smog exempt in California. Pre 98 diesels are. We got a 60 Buick four door sedan. Uh, just a phone number on that one. Yeah, the back one doesn't have a price on it either. How about a uh, 95 Ford Lightning before they were an electric truck? Here you go, 42,000 with 43,000 miles. You don't see the Lightnings very often. Not a 65 Impala Super Sport. 45,000. No phone number. A 79 Chevy shorty van. Oh, yeah, I Yeah, 75,000. Okay, this guy wins the Pomona Prize of the Year award. Obviously, it's, it's, he's joking, but. <laughs> I think if there was a Pomona Prize trophy, this guy should get it. <laughs> we'll just bring it to you anyway. This F350 uh, ramp truck. For sale sign with no info. That is pretty slick. There, it's got a winch on and everything for their car hauling needs. Got a 70 uh, Mustang. Not for sale though. Second gen Camaro with a four speed. A 69 Ford F100 bump side short bed. No price on it, just a phone number. A 65 Ford Mustang. So 64 and a half. Think in hand 20,000. Appears to be a six cylinder car. Yeah, it might be a little bit on the Pomona side, especially for a six cylinder car. A little Beetle for sale. Like I said, once again, we're not in the Volkswagen section yet. 68 model, no price on it. But there's the uh, info. Got a 72 LTD convertible, no price. Uh, hopefully you can read that, it's ballpoint again. It's like it needs a little bit of restoration work. Got our 95 Impala SS. No price on this one, there's your info. Got a 60 Coupe. On that. Big Caddy. Got 
68 C10 step side. 16,400 on this one. So it's got an old sticker from Alhambra on there. So it's probably a local truck. So you look on the inside here. So it's the step side with the uh, spare on the side. Black plate. Cadillac yeah, like Fleetwood. No price, just a phone number. I don't know if he's got the uh, screws for it or not. Not for sale, but kind of a neat uh, half ton pickup. Yeah, square body for sale. We got an 84. C10. This one's got the uh, V6 in it. 28,000 on this one. Now come around this side. Got a conference going on on the other side. A 64 F100 Shore E. That's a for sale sign, but it is not have any information on it. Got a uh, 68 Chevelle big block. One could be yours for 46,000. There's all the info. I'm not gonna try to squeeze in there. A 62 Impala project for 16,500. There's the info on that. There you go. Got a 79 GMC. Square body, 7,800. Got a 60 Impala, 17,000. A small block. It's a little bit of work. I gotta try to squeeze in there, but you get the idea. There you go, we got this, this uh, viewer of the channel and uh, what I sold your Chevy, your 51 Chevy. So, he says, definitely get my truck. There you go, 45,000. Get you this in here. Yeah, it's even all upholstered in Over the 40 bed. Over 40K in documents. Yep. Just nut and bolt frame up. Yep. yep. She's ready to go. I'll get this side of the truck too. Okay, so it's the same guy has the Dodge here. It's a 1970 uh, D100 pickup. Hey, a 318. This one's an adventure series. Wish I had cars like kind of flying by me right here. So, yeah, so we got a uh, Chevy Suburban 1969 with a 396. It's a uh, 10 series, so it's a half half ton. It's the info on that guy, 17,500. But look how clean this thing is. And it's a three door. This one's super clean. Uh, uh, it's a 50 Mercury. 21,500. Careful on that one. Come around this side. Looks like he's trying to bring the uh, hood up on it. That's why it is. Well, it won't get any more racing on the news. Uh, no. 
Yeah, this uh, OBS on the 91 Chevy. It's like it was modified uh, when it was newer soon afterwards. I think I'm far enough from the music. I keep the clip going. Check out the uh, graphics on this one. And it's got the uh, billet wheels and all. Your 90s throwback. Got a 68 El Camino, 12,750. And we're on uh, drivetrain and everything like that. It doesn't have the hood up. It does have a hole in the side for some reason. A Cadillac. Lowrider. He's got a for sale sign. I don't think he has anything written on it though. So I'll just do a quick buck on the side of the car. A uh, 54 Ford Country Squire station wagon. Well, now it's 8,000. 626 is the area code. I don't know if you can make that out. Yeah, 56 Chevy convertible. Project 30,000 is the uh, info. 265. So it's got some uh, rust repair. Of course, like everything's available for these. The rockers are completely gone. I'm guessing the floors are completely gone as well. But it is a 56 convertible. Yeah, rockers are shot on this side too. Another project for 8,500. Tin Woody. Another project, we got this Buick Riviera 63, 4250. We got a 67 Ford bump side. No price on it, but there's all the uh, information. It says 15000 on the uh, price on the back. Got a uh, mid-60s Thunderbird for 12000 and a convertible. phone number for the uh, Thunderbird. I said if you're in a trail, it's not for sale though. And a 64 Chevy station wagon. Again, not for sale. A 74 Pontiac Firebird. I wonder if it's the original 455 car. Runs and drives 16,500. I actually had one of these. I had a Formula 455 Ram Air Firebird many, many, many years ago. And uh, I think I paid a thousand dollars for it. This is in the 90s. And when I sold it, my buddy was supposed to pay me back and he never did, so I never even got paid for the car. Way back when. That's, uh, mine was like a orange color. Got a 69 Firebird convertible. Remember I had that uh, back when you still had a smog 74s and it was not easy to smog. Yeah, 67 F250 bump side for 1,900. Let's have a little bit of uh, cab damage there. And some rust in the seams. Nice so way to get through. He's got uh, a bunch of obstacles. Looks like it was a camper special because it's got regular 
car plates, not commercial plates. So I'm guessing this started out as uh, one with a camper on it. Yeah, you can see it has the the, the hooks there for the uh, camper. Got a uh, 53 Bel Air four door for sale, no price on it. Give you a look. There's a little Chevy here. She had a 61 Dodge. You don't see those ever. Many years ago, I had a 61 Polara four door hardtop. This one's the uh, Pioneer model. Yeah, a lowrider van. A 74 GMC Big Block 454 Crew Crab Pickup for 10K. This is a very, very, very long square body. I got a 66 Chevelle SS 396, 375 horse. This one's got a four speed. Dark, it's got like a metal flake going on. Has a for sale sign, no information on it though. There we got a uh, 60 Impala convertible. It's like it's been sitting in the Midwest for many years. There you go, there's uh, just his make offer. It needs, let's just say it needs everything. <laughs> But it is a 60 Impala convertible. That is a serious project. That is not for beginners. Got a 68 Chevelle. For sale. See info on that one. Hopefully you can see it. Anyway, listen, hopefully you get it going. And yeah, we'll come back to that side when we get some started. Might be a little cold. It did rain this morning, so. Buick we saw rolling in earlier. No phone number though. So maybe it's for sale for somewhere else online. I 
right, I'm gonna do uh, the Volkswagen section now. It's one of those 9,000 or best. Got a 60 Beetle convertible for 36,000. Yeah, 74 Volkswagen thing, 14,500. A 69 pop top for 28. There's a, a Project Beetle 67 for I think 9K. I will say we paid less for our 65 and it was complete <laughs> in one piece. There's another 67, looks way better than that last one we looked at, 11,500. So, a little bit more money and you get one that runs and drives and is put together. So we'll just call the other one a Pomona price. A 57 oval. Sixty-two of the rag top for sale for fourteen. Yeah. Uh, Sixty-nine Carmen Gia for nine thousand. The info on that. Seventy-nine, seventy-eight, Super Beetle convertible, six thousand eight hundred. That's seventy-one Beetle looks like original paint for the most part. Four thousand nine hundred. Uh, Seventy Beetle, eight thousand. 900. That's going to wrap things up for Pomona Auto Swap Me for March 3rd, 2024. Make sure you like the video, which on a TV involves hitting pause, going over to the thumbs up symbol. It does help us out with the algorithm, which has been coming, at, coming back for the channel for sure. Leave a comment what your favorite car was. Check that ten of list for what events I have coming up in the future because we've got a lot of great events. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And until next time, I'll be seeing you.